Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this evening, I'm going to look at um, the projects um, on the road layout and as well as uh, the stormwater layout plans. Okay, so the road layout plan, um, it will include the plans as well as the long section. Um, even though in this project brief, we mentioned the cross section at 25 intervals, I think um, we we will not do the cross section. Okay, we will not do the cross section, but we will do the uh, just get a change at twenty five meter interval. Um, so I think just limit we just limit to this plan and the um, long section. So there's there will not be won't be any cross sections and uh, upward limit and battles for the road layout. Similarly for the stormwater as well so we just do i think we just do the layout plan and the long sections we don't we'll not do the details and um, water supply um we just do the layout plan as well and i think we don't need, we will not do the hydrants and details um wastewater layout uh, layout plan we'll do the layout plan as well as the long section i think no details okay so let's look at the um, um, the road layout. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so in the um, in the Auckland Transport uh, Code of Practice. Okay. So they have this um, typical co road cross section. So um, this is, I think, I believe, is about eighteen about eighteen meter wide. So so this one's three plus uh this one five point three plus um how many meter three uh five five seven point seven point two seven point um seven point two plus one point three I think nine no oh, let me see um two plus one point three plus two point two Plus three, point five times two. So it actually is it's about seventeen. The whole thing is seventeen um meter. Uh, the the road reserve. Uh, for our road, I think the roads um in the our scheme plan is about sixteen meter around sixty meter. And the jewel is about um around seven meter. So the the cross section of the roads. I will probably I will just follow this one. The um okay, so the um, this one this this one reserve is eighteen point two meter. So I'm the carriage way. I'm going to use the like eight. We I think we can use the um, seven point eight meter wide. Uh, seven point eight meter wide. So and and just um. 3.9, 3.9 on both side on, on each two, two length and then the bump 2 meter, 1.8 meter. So um probably for for this um this project we will keep the 3.9, 3.9. The bump I'm going to reduce it to 1 meter and then the footpath reduced to um 1.5 from 1.8. Okay. And um Jewel, the which is the joint owner, owner joint uh, joint owners um lot located um lots. So there are two types. One is um one is the one with um wider wider rods, seven, five five point five meter, and then the other one is a smaller one is three point five. So I think as we only is, um serve one side of the rod um we um this one probably a bit too small because okay, so, um this um seven meter this one the five point five meter wide and then the only one point two five on the on the side so it's a bit too small I th we want to have a foot path as well so I think this one will be better we just um have three point five meter carriageway the driveway and then with the this um we still have space for the footpath and to put the um, utilities as well. 
Okay. So the um, probably there will, there will not be much um, uh, for the horizontal alignment and vertical alignment. There are not much things to consider. The basically just a um, straight straight line. The rod is a straight line, so we don't have any uh, curvature. And the vertical alignment, um, we some of the the rod is um, flat. But uh, I think there's a rod A, rod one, which is um, I, it's just going up, going up the um, from lower to higher. So, but that one we we just do a straight line. We don't want to introduce any vertical curve. <clears throat> okay, so the design vehicles for this rod, for this uh, local rods, I think it's just a uh, eight meter medium rigid truck. So, um. The curvature, um, actually according to the um, uh, this one, like for eight meter, I, I don't know where you can see or not. Um, just um, put it bigger. So for for eight meter, um, rigid truck. So the county set, this is a county set, the end of the rod. Um, we for eight meter rigid truck. The R one is supposed to be eleven, and then R two, are the um, which is the the radius of the curvature is about six meter. So, <clears throat> um, I think the rod is this one. The um, eleven is a bit too big, so the diameter is twenty twenty two. Um. So because our rod, the width of the rod is only about uh, 16 meter wide, so I cannot we cannot put in the 22. So I think we will just stick to 8 meter. 8 meter, uh, the R1 become 8 meter. So that will be just nice. And the uh, radius, probably we just uh, we we can stick to six, uh, six or 8 meter. Okay. So yeah. So so this is the um, typical county set. Um, the other thing is the um, the pavement. We probably we we not going to um, use the mechanistic design. Um, we we just go to uh I think because I think previously I I talked about maybe we use the circle six to design the rod the pavement I think it's probably it's a bit uh, too much work uh because the traffic is we we it be hard to uh find the um, the design traffic so I think for this one the um, this this one the typical granular unbound pavement design using the CBI methods by the Organ transport. I think probably you can use that. Use this. So we, um, we just um. I think we we look at cert we use certain CBM values. I think I probably I will have to inform you guys, uh, what values to use, and then we just use the I think the local residential. I think this one you do, okay? Because that um there are not not many lots. Only about twenty seven lots. So when we don't need to use um, local the the collector residential, so it's I think it's it's not it's a not a big development, but this one is a the quite sizable traffic as well about um probably about three or four times ten to about five e ESA equivalent stand uh, equivalent standard EXO. So I think we just use that and then we can find the total um. Thicknesses, and also we make use of sub <coughs> sub best and the best cost to find other thicknesses as well. Hope you look into this and <coughs> in another time. <coughs> okay, so for this um this site, 
I, I prepare an, another alternative um, scheme plan so that can show you how to how to do the broad design uh, so you can apply to the one uh, for parcel 221 which is um, different from this from this scheme plan okay so but the road we also have the um, road one road two jaw one and jaw two okay so we need to um, introduce the rod we will need to do the put the rod layout and then we need to do the um, footpath as well I probably I wouldn't do go through everything you know I, I probably just do part of it and and can show you um, because it's with and show you the complete um, the complete plan complete the plan and then also do the some uh, the long section as well okay so first of all we need to find out the um, uh, the the width of this uh, the the rod and the jaw okay we need to find them so I just draw some lines um, I just draw some line I, because I need to find out um, the to find the the width of the um, width of the the rod reserve as well. Oops, right here. Okay, so I just um. So I just draw all the um. um for the jaw as well. Just do all the do a line first, and then later on I will just um may use the I use the um, uh, the dimension to find out what's the width width of the road reserve. Okay. Um. So I just uh, go to the dimension um, to align the align and then we find out what is the width 60 meter uh, 15.91 for the this is for the so around 60 meter wide and for this one 16.1 15.7 so they are not uh, uniform the the, um, the width of the road reserve seven point nine seven point nine as well seven point nine nine Seven point nine nine. Okay, so we um so it just as what I've mentioned just now, I going to do the um, uh do the rod first. Uh, I just go to the layers. Um, I want to make the um, central line the project central line is the uh the the current layers. What's project cent road center line? Okay, so I use that as an okay. So I just draw a line, pick from the middle, and you have to have to cut the mid the center. Okay, so okay, I think I don't need the nineteen point nine one stuff. Okay, sixteen point seven. Don't need that. Uh, I just extend it to the end to the end. Okay, so I can just take away this one. Don't need this anymore. Um, I will extend the rod towards until the um the this line the 
uh, the, the line here, the red line, which is the boundary. Okay, I think, um, but I'm going to extend it to the over here. I think just extend this. Um, Let's extend it further up again. Okay. And the rod is going to be um I think it's um uh seven seven point eight meters, so I'm going to offset um Offset uh, 3.9 above side 3.9. <clears throat> okay, 3.9. So uh, the layers, um, I'm going to change the two side uh, to another layers, which is the from center line to just the, to the project rod. So there's a continuous line. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do, do the same for the, the this jewel. Let's pick the middle midpoint and midpoint. Okay, I think I I don't need this thing. Let's take away. I'm going to extend. Extend this jewel to the to cut the center line to center line. And this one as well, the midpoint to midpoint. I delete the um, dimension and then this um, the line and extend it to the end. Okay. Oh, sorry. I think the for jaw one, I think I'm not going to do the center line because I'm. I think I'm going to follow the. <clears throat> um. Let me see. I'm going to follow um, this one, this plan. I just uh, offset from the side 1.25, 1.25, and then from here, um, 3.5, 3.5. But I'm going to put the center line at the middle of 3.5, okay, 3.5. So I offset 1.25, and then offset 1, 1.75, 1.75. So I'm not going to, I don't want to follow this, uh, the center line. Uh, for for this question like this like, like the, this screen like um like this one so I I'm going to do it slightly different <clears throat> so I'm going to offset um I can't offset a line because this is a block so I need to draw a line um from this side because um. Oh sorry, uh from, from the other side. Because the footpath is going to be on this the side of a uh, lot one to five. Because um, so this one I I have um uh this side is uh the rod verge is less compared to the other side. So I draw a line from here from from to here and offset one point two five. <clears throat> okay, and offset 1.75. 1.75. And then another 1.75. Oops, yep, this is not. Okay. So. I'm going to fill it. 
fillet um not not fillet yet i'm going to just change the lay uh, match the properties of this one with this one okay i don't need this anymore i can just delete that okay so um i'm going to extend this um center line to the middle yeah okay and then i'm going to um provide a radius fillet this one to uh, the draw one to join the rod at uh, rod one so first of all i just need to break uh need to break some of the rod here okay and i'm going to join by fillet uh, the radius i think i just put i can put a six meter uh, because that's how I think we we saw it it's six, six meter. Um, six meter and then okay, so there's um uh, the rod um junction for rod one and jaw one. And same thing uh for, for this rod two, I'm going to offset three point nine to both sides. Mm, offset 3.9 <clears throat> okay i'm going to match the properties um, for the rod, rod edge and <clears throat> break the <clears throat> break this one the edge Okay, this here. Okay, and then I'm gonna fill it in. Um, fill it um, radius six meter. Okay, I just check whether this what's the radius of this. Um, this is six meter. Oh, it's eight meter. I don't know what happened. Okay, just try again. Um, this this one is just fill it. Uh, radius six meter. Radius um six meter. Okay. So for this one, I can extend it to the end. Okay, I'm going to do the draw two as uh, draw two as well. So I'm going to offset from up here and then leave a so that my footpath with a can, can put um on the side of this uh, lot sixteen to twenty one. So I'm going to do a line here. I just yeah take away this one. I don't need this line actually. Um, offset 1.25 and offset 1 1.75 <clears throat> 1.75 again okay so this one is a bit different um, for this junction because I want to introduce a county set here and then but it's a it's a um, junction as well so uh, i i'm going to the the curvature of the, the circle i going to be on this left hand side the right hand side i'm going to introduce the um not the curvature of the of the circle but rather the uh, the curvature uh, like six meter six meter radius to join this edge of the rod the rod one to the other edge of the jaw two Okay, same thing as this one. So it's just a, just a, here the, uh, the, op, uh, the, the connection to the draw two to the this, the end of the rod two, rod one is just a, um, just a opening up to the county set. Okay, so, um. 
just match the properties of this okay and I'm going to draw the um, set which is, has a radius of uh, uh, 8 meter so I, I need to draw a line from the bottom I offset 8 meter Offset uh, specified distance eight meter. Okay, I'm going to do a radius. Um, I'll do a circle with radius. Radius of eight meter. Okay, eight meter. Yep. I just um modify. Match the property. This one is that. Okay. Okay. So I need to trim. Do some trim. Trimming. <coughs> trim. Um. I don't need this. Don't need this. Okay, I will delete this uh, this one as well. So this one will be um, the radius here. It will be um, six meter. So I'm going to break this circle as well. Uh, break. Oops, wrong way. Uh, break. See how to break. Okay. So the I will extend it to the circle. Um, I'm going to break this this part of the circle as well. Um, probably I extend the center line. Um, okay, to the to the center line. So I will try to do a fillet of six meter. Um, okay, six meter. Six meter. Okay, and then um, probably I, I will not do this one. I will take away this this part of circle actually. Mm, uh, okay, I try. I can do it and try. Uh, radius, try again. Uh, fill it. See where, how is it? Um, radius. Um, six meter. Okay. And fill it again. Radius. Six, um, six meter. <clears throat> and fill it okay but this one is not very good because it's um <clears throat> this part is too narrow i i want to provide a footpath it doesn't go through so i think it's not a good one i just going to um just going to fill it this one and that one Six meter, okay. Fill it. Yeah. So this one, the county side is a bit. Uh, the shape is a bit funny. Here is a. But if I don't. <clears> hmm. <throat> I think it's okay because this one, the footpath is on this side. Just now, probably that is okay. I think I will try to. Um, looks a bit odd. Okay, I think, I think this one probably looks probably okay. So that the vehicle can turn, you know the. Um, yeah, I think this one probably looks, looks um, it's a bit too near to the edge. I think it's okay. I think um, 
the frequency of footpath is on this side. So this one, I think, so, the, so actually the, the truck, the 8 meter rigid truck, is easier to turn around rather than, you know, just now we have this, um, um, we have a directly, we, we fill up these two sides. Okay. <clears throat> So yep, okay. Um so we got all the rods. Uh, I just extend it to the end. Um okay, so actually yeah, we about 30 minutes, so I need to hurry up as well. Uh we need to introduce introduce the footpath as well. Okay, the footpath uh it will be from um side of this um this side. And then the side of uh, rod one, and then the jaw. This part, the wider part of jaw jaw one, and also I uh, I need to introduce the footpath from rod one to rod two, and then this part of rod one and two to rod two as well. This side as well, and then footpath down at the bottom here. Yeah, the the wider part of the jaw two. So what I can do is that, <coughs> um. <coughs> The, we have the, the from the edge of the rod is um we have a berm of one meter wide and then footpath of one point five meter. Okay, so I offset um one meter on the berm. And then we offset I offset um <coughs> one point five again from Okay, offset one point five for the footpath. Okay, just join this up. <clears throat> um, just put a P D P E D I T. <clears throat> um. Join, yes, and join it. So I quit that. Enter, enter. So this is one entity. I do again for the other side. I uh, want to turn into one, yes, and join. Join all these, the three lines. Enter. Okay, so this one entity. Um, I can actually, I can, um, I don't need to go all the way up there. Um, the, I think the line will be up here. Let's trim the top part. Okay, so I want to do some hatching of these two. Oh, I might as well do it here, I think. Um, let's do hatching, draw, hatch. <clears throat> okay, so you can probably can't see much. Oh. Um, I think probably it's not very good. I need to uh, it has the too many things, so I need to take out the things because it's um, it's not I need to bring it up and just cross the so this cross is uh, cross uh. Let's cross it here. So I do the hatching um, on this um, on on this figure, and then I I, I copy the I move the hatch, hatching back to the other side. 
so I I going to hedge okay so I, I think I'm probably going to do a solid okay um, the color probably I think it's the color is um, more color <clears throat> I think I'm going to use a color add with color add um, sure it's color add this one the Uh, but anything is uh, it's a gray. Hope it's okay. I think um, gray. I think the this one looks a bit funny. You know the um, this one solid. Um, Okay, I think this one looks okay to me. So, but I, I would rather do the color add, but I can't find what is this one. Ah, this one add, yes. So I do color add. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to copy this, um, this hatching. Um, <clears throat> maybe from this end here. I just want to copy the hatching. Copy. I don't want to the external. I don't want. I don't want the 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 boundary the boundary of the hatching. I just want to copy the hatching. Okay. Yeah. So that's the hatching. Okay. So do the same thing for um this side, this wider piece. Uh, the rod one and the rod two as well. This wider and this one as well. This one as well. Um, yeah. So actually, uh, um, it would be something like this. You know, the the hatching will be like this. Okay. The I do all the hatching. So, <clears throat> but this one, the bottom one, I need to change it actually. Um, because I think previously I used the radius of um, uh, 8 meter. I think according to the I think the Auckland transport actually should be 6 meter. So um, so this one I think we, we need to instead of this one I think we need to follow <clears throat> the shape of this one. I think this one's better. It's better for turning, you know, for the big, uh, for the vehicle to turn. Um, so it's a it's a more like a circle, so they can turn the whole the around the rod at the county set. So so do the hatching. Um, for the all this um for all the footpath, do the footpath <coughs> like this one. You know the footpath um for. Between rod one and and draw one, and then rod one and rod two, and then this one and the draw two as well. Okay, so I think um, <clears throat> so I just want to sh um, show you. Let me see. I can whether I can copy the thing is easier. I think. Uh, I think it's a bit hard because the radius is a. Uh, I use different radius. So, um, the one down there is um, I use a meter radius. But I think you should use a six meter because according to the occurrence and spot. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, also the the chainage we need to do a chainage. Um, what we do is that we use the uh array path. <clears throat> Um, I can. I I just need to get a piece of this. I need to prepare a a chenish, um chenish mark, and then I put a, some uh, the the chenish, the value. 
So I just copy this um, center line. I need to flip it 90 degrees, rotate it 90 degrees. Mm. I just get a cut a short piece of it. A short piece, okay. Let's trim it. I just uh, move it back. Let's grab this mid midpoint. <coughs> Okay, there's a there's a small piece here. Yes. Um, probably it's a bit too long. I probably I want to trim it a bit. Just move it. Uh, I think it's slightly too long. I just uh, trim it shorter. Probably this one would this will do. Move it um, from the midpoint and to this point. Okay, so there's a small piece here, and then I want to put a value um, uh, for me to do the change. Okay, so I just do M text. Um, M text. Okay, so um, I just do a ten. Okay, ten. Uh, point two is too small, so I, I need to the value. I need to be at least two. I think okay, two. At least two. Okay. Yep, I think two. Okay. Uh, I need to. Because the rod is the chain is going is uh, in increasing order from from this uh the red from here and then go straight down so I need to flip it over I uh, just rotate it ninety uh, one eighty degree um, one eighty so uh, move it to copy. Yeah, here I think the line is here. Where is the line? Um, there's a short piece here. Yeah, there's short short piece here. So I move it. Um, I think I just move it um, near to the red line. Okay. Later on, I need to change to zero. Just that I need to put ten because the um, zero you can you can see um, the orientation of it. So now I do the array path, array path, <coughs> and then I'm going to array this value and then this short piece. Enter and then select the, the pathway. Um, so the items we don't know what's the spacing uh, at the moment. I can select the items, item down there, just I for items, and then the distance between the items, and I will select um, 30. I think the, in the cross section, I think um, 30 or 25, I think the cross section interval is 25, so um, I, in this case, I just select 30. Um, 30. Okay, so I need to. I can't change. I can't change anything yet because they are all um, blocks. So I need to explore, explore all these the things so that I can I can change the change the value. So this one I change to zero. <clears throat> That's zero, and this one I change to thirty. <clears throat> this one I change to sixty. <clears throat> S 
90 120 and this is 150 but it's not the end of change that's actually there's a bit more here so uh, I just copy this piece and that to the end <coughs> The end of the road. So this one, I we have to need to find out what is the what is the distance from 150. So I just do a dimension, a line. <clears throat> Let's do the end of the road. What's that? 5.94. So this one will be 155.94. One five five point nine four. Okay, so I can take away this one, and then we do the same thing for uh, the the draw two, and then what two and draw draw one as well. Okay, <clears throat> so the so this one the. We do the um the the chenish chenish. We do it like this. Okay, the for rod one and then for draw one, so zero thirty sixty ninety and one one hundred point nine nine, and from rod two as well. The center lines, the the start the starting line for the this rod two will be the at the center line zero here thirty. 60, 90, 100, 100 something. Okay, so it's been covered by the footpath. <clears throat> so 0 and 60 and 1, 0, I think 1, 1, 0, 0 0.41. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, so that's the layout plan. Um, later on, we need to do the long section. Okay, the long section for all the rods for rod 1 and for rod draw 1. Rod two and draw two. We need to do a long section. So, um, uh, I have the platform. Uh, based on the, <clears throat> um, based on the contour. Okay, so I think I, I probably I turn off the contour. <clears throat> so the, so at the back here is higher. So the contour here I'm going to put. 45 meter and then next one down is 40 meter 43 meter 42 meter I think we have talked about this I think in earlier earlier lecture so um, so these are the contour uh, sorry the, the platform of these different lots um, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> the rods the rod here with um, between um, these two, uh, these two platform, uh, one is forty two, one is forty three. I'm going to use the rod level here is to be flat. I'm going to use forty two meter. Okay, so follow the <coughs> follow the lower platform because if you um the lower platform, if you if the rod is higher than the platform, then you got uh, I think we got probably got problems um, of the discharging the the drainage wastewater. I think the storm water pipe, and yeah, and even what water water reticulation because uh, it's a bit hard to go the the send the water up. You know, it's it has to go down. So so the higher platform it can join the the water can go down into the uh, the water pipe. No water pipes or the west the sewer line no problem okay so if the rod is higher than 42 is let's say we do 43 then the, it's a bit hard to send the the, the this one the the gray water or black water the, the sewer line into the um the pipes is higher okay so 
So this one, the draw one is going to have platform of uh, 42. I think the, the rod level 42, the finished rod level. And the rod 2, uh, between 43, PPL 43 and PPL 44, proposed platform level. So I think we, we stick to the 43 meter for rod 2. The, and for draw 2, between 44 meter and 45 meter, we're going to stick to 44 meter. Okay. So for the rod, this rod 1, we're going to start at the here. <coughs> the rod, uh, the main rod here actually, this is the main rod of the the flat push screw rod. It's about 41.5. So I'm going to, my change 0, I'm going to start from 41.5. And then, um, the, because the platform is going upwards, so uh, we're going to slope it up until the end is 44 meter. This one, this rod is 44 meter, the draw two. So I'm going to start from 41.5 and then hit the middle here, the, um, the center line here to be 44 meter, 44 meter. Okay, so, so this, okay, so we need to show you how to do the cross section. Ah, uh, sorry, the long section. <clears throat> okay. Um. <clears throat> so from this um. From this. Of. Uh, this rod, I'm going to do the rod rod one. So from this rod. Rod one, we we know what are the uh the point the 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 um what's that this one the let me see um actually I've done the 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 ground level so we we do the ground level first from <clears throat> okay so. I, I can't change it. I I don't have um I don't have contour on on up here. So I, I have to follow the one down here. <clears throat> so this um zero here. So we need to find the ground level here. This one probably is between you no know, forty one point five and forty two. This forty two. So this one is about um forty one point seven maybe forty one point seven and thirty here will be. 41.5, 42, 41.6, or still 41.7. So this one, this one probably about uh, 41 in the middle, 41.7 or 8 point, yeah. <clears throat> 60 here will be uh, this 42, 42, 42.5. So this one is 42 point something, point two. <clears throat> And then 90, 90, this is um this 42, net 41.5, 42. So this one probably 41.8 or 9, 41.9, point <clears throat> So this one will be 42.5, and then this one is 43. So probably 42.6. 150. So this one is um 43.5 and 44. So 150 will be about 43. Point, um point eight, point seven, point eight, something like that. Okay, so for this 150. <clears throat> so we put all the um the ground level. At the um, <clears throat> at the various uh the uh, channel zero thirty um sixty ninety one twenty one fifty and the end channel all the ground level forty one point seven forty one point six forty two point one forty one point nine that's now you know from the contour and I also put the channel for this draw one the junction to draw one and draw two as well uh you know the so that I know where are the, the junctions. So this is the um, draw one hit here, and then draw the rod two. And this one probably is too, 
it's almost close to 150 so i think it's no space for me to put so i just leave it leave the um, the draw two <clears throat> so um i got this this the red line actually this is the this is the ground level based on this um the based on this 41.7 i um i what, what i can draw do is that um how i draw this this level is that actually based on the uh let me see um, just copy copy this um, So I just um you know how I draw the existing rod uh, I just do the um, just do a line for this one point because the datum I'm not starting from zero so I starting from um twenty so forty one point seven I going to um go up twenty forty one point seven minus twenty so it's twenty one point seven. Um, by the way, I'm going to do this thing, everything in um, one the same scale, horizont horizontally and vertically. So I'm going to use a one to one thousand horizontally and vertically. And then later on, I'm going to uh, apply. I do a block, going to block this thing, and then I'm going to look at the properties, and then they pull up the the y scale. I'm going to increase the y scale five times. So this thing will just shoot up. <clears throat> So, um, I just do a line. Uh, forty one point seven. So this I do. Uh, I need to change the line to what's the what is this layer? Um, project long section. Okay. Uh, I just change to project long section. <clears throat> Project long section. Um, where's that? This one. Make this as current layer. <clears throat> so I, need, I just need to do twenty one. Uh, I need to press F N twenty one point seven because um twenty forty one point seven and then minus twenty. So you need to do twenty one point seven twenty one point seven. Is that gonna be too short? Do it again. Line twenty one point seven. Okay. Next one is forty one point six minus twenty twenty one point six. Twenty one point six. Next one, 42.1 minus 20, so it's 22.1. This line. Two again, I think line. 22.1. And this one, 41.9, so I'm going to up. 21.9 line <clears throat> so you have to use the the f at or the must be uh, 90 degrees no, it might must be um, the f at which is the auto what's it called um f at is the so that the line only go up particularly or horizontally okay so What is that? Twenty one point nine, twenty one point nine, twenty two point seven, uh, forty three point seven, so it's twenty three point seven, <clears throat> twenty three point seven. Last one is forty four point one, so it's twenty four point one. Twenty four point one. 
So I'm going to join up all the line. Uh, that just use a P line. Join join up all the 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 endpoint. Not the perpendicular, just the end. Need to grab the endpoint. Okay, so this the um, existing ground level. I'm gonna do the um the propose um the the road level. So we can we know that <coughs> um this part here is about forty one point seven five. Okay, so it's the middle of the road is about forty one one point five. So I'm going to do zero here. I'm going to do forty one point five as well. <coughs> So the road level, the beginning, I'm going to do a 41.5, and then the end, uh, <coughs> we're going to do um, <coughs> at this um. One, I'm gonna do a forty-one point. I think it's forty-one point. By 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 extrapolation, extrapolations. You know the. Uh, this one is um. The channel is one five five. I think this one's slightly different. One five five point seven. I think the one I I did earlier was um. <clears throat> one five five point nine four. One five five. So you extrapolate it, and then um, it be it will be about um, I think about forty four. I think it's forty four, forty four. Okay, the okay, just put until forty four meter. Just uh, <clears throat> so this one is going to be forty four meter. Or four, okay. So I just go a line. I think I got a uh, change the layers to project um <coughs> long section. I got a blue line. Who is the blue? Um, I think I just change to a blue line. Okay, project rod. Okay, I think uh, just project rod. Okay, just make it. Made, made this a current layer. <clears throat> okay, so I turn that off. Um, I'm going to uh, draw a line. 41.5, so minus 20, there will be 21.5. 21.5. So because I I use a different layer, different layers, and then with different color because otherwise it's red color is a bit hard for me to see. And then last one is forty four. I do a line. Forty four minus twenty is forty twenty four. Twenty four. Oh, not that one. Line, and end point. Uh, twenty four. Oops, what happened? Um, twenty four. Okay, so I I got this point here, and then I just join the two the the end the start and end. I just join to draw a line P line. <coughs> just uh, grab the the end of the blue line, <coughs> and then all the way to the to the end. Because I'm going to, I'm not going to do any vertical curve. I just do introduce it. Because it's the 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 rod is um quite flat, so I just uh just end of the. <laughs> so, so that is the um, the rod. Uh, the that's a straight line. Uh, the finished rod level a straight a straight line. I uh because it's too small to introduce any vertical curve. So, um, I'm going to walk backwards to find what is the what are the rod levels. Okay, so, um, what I can do is that you know I just um extend all this um 
to the end to the to the blue line um, <clears throat> to blue line so i just okay. <clears throat> I want to find the radius. Um, never mind. I just do the um, the road level first. So the first one is forty one point five. We know that. So what I can do is just uh, just do the align from here to the blue line. So there's the the height to the blue line. So I got to transfer this value to here. So this one is 21.98 plus 20 because the data is 20. So it's going to be 41.98. 41.98. And this one is going to be 42.46. Forty-two point four six. Um, I think I probably I delete some of the line. This one, the line. This one, I didn't copy all the line. So this one is the. Um, it's forty-two point. Forty-two point. Point nine four. Uh, this one, I think the this one is the road level of the I think the junction. Okay, because I think we need that that this one as well. Um, this one is forty three point four three forty three point four three, and this one is forty three point nine one. <clears throat> The three point nine one. Okay, so so actually, um, I this one have done it earlier. So so actually, you know, I I got all the things the value done the for the rod level rod level. Um, so I got the now I got the changes the pack changes and then the ground levels at the at the um, the um 30 meters interval okay for the for the long section and also the okay the ground level i don't i just put at the uh, the, the 30 meters interval and the rod level uh i put also i put it put them at the various um 30 meter intervals and also plus the draw one and draw two the intersection so that i know that my rod will start at uh this level 42.21 so probably the the draw one uh, started at 42.21 um draw one is i think um <clears throat> i'm going to use 42 the rod is going to be 42 so here is 42.21 so i'm going to slope down to 42 all the way you know okay, so um yeah um I think we, yeah, I say it's a flat one, but I think so. You know, we, we just slope down this one 40, we keep it 42, and then this part here, the center line, this one's slightly higher, and the rod 2 here supposed to be 43. Let me see the what what do we have with rod 3? <coughs> rod 3 is a 43.01, it's almost 40, 43. Okay, 43, so almost flat. So, so this one's 40. 43 this point is 43 43.01 and then this one is 43 <clears throat> yeah so you we do this um i think it's yeah um so look at this one um we have this one uh, the value like this and then now um we want to do something um to satisfy the vertical scale of 1 to 200 
So I just copy out this one. Let's see how we do it. <coughs> okay, just put it maybe put it up here. Okay, so I I just start uh, delete all these. Um, I don't want this one. The <coughs> the dimension. Just delete all dimensions. And <coughs> I want to change these two layers. Um, and the, so it, these two lines block it and the, and the block it. So I make a block. I I draw um block map make a block. <coughs> um, you have to put some something. Okay, so just I've used many blocks before. I do some things that is like you haven't put before. For example, like you could A, B, C, D, something like that, you know. But you can only use one later on because it, com the computer they will they will know that you have done before. They they don't accept the the same value, so you have to do a different value. So I put um I put many before. So I put B B F for example B F. So I need to select the objects. Select these two line. Once the the rod level and then the existing ground level enter and then I need to put a pick a point I pick a point at here um, so that we need to if you don't pick a point it'll be zero the xyz will be zero zero and then when you convert to a block the thing will I think no when you scale it up uh, later on five times the things will just is the distance you can you it's not um properly control you cannot you, you just fly up you have to go and search for it so so if i do it I, at the you need need to pick a point at the at the platform at the datum okay so now i'm going to convert the two lines into a block okay <clears throat> Okay, so these are blocked now. The whole thing is a block. Okay, so now I'm going to um, go to the properties. <clears throat> I just click this to block. Um, in this uh, geometry, we see that the um, x y z x y z they are all one to one one to one. Okay, x y z. So I want to the the vertical is the uh, y. The horizontal is the x, and then z is uh, another dimension going inside. Um, so I want to change it to five for the vertical scale, so that to make it into a uh, one to two hundred. Just enter. Okay, so the things just fly up there. Um, so this one is now compared to the previous one. You know the this one. So this one has been. Um, uh, the the scale of the vertical has been for this part this block here has been blown up to five times so um the vertic vertically now is one to two hundred and then horizontally is one to one thousand so I need to just join up the line I think I can't extend it to the block I need to <coughs> explore the block okay. So this thing is um just the um, individual lines. So now I can do this to extend it. <clears throat> extend all the things. We need to extend to the to the the. Um, the line which is um the what is it called the highest highest line <clears throat> and for this one uh, i think the jaw one and jaw two i need to do a line which is even higher um i want to extend it even higher for the jaw one and two sorry sorry the two junction this one, I need to extend it all the way up. Okay. 
Oops, let's erase that. So I need to move that. Uh, sorry, move. So that shows um, okay, so that's a junk show the junction of draw one and two. And um, uh, we need to find the um, so like this one, uh, we need to label it the road level and the ground level as well. And then we need to find um, the slope of this um, this thing, this um, this this line. So we, we can't find from this one because this one's been different scale. We need to use this one to find the one at the bottom here. So we need to find what is the actually we know it. We from 44 to 41.5. Uh, so the, the the increase is actually 44 um minus 41.5. The increase actually is 2.5. 2.5 and then the distance here from 0 until 155.71 in this case okay divide by uh, the the increase in height divided by the horizontal distance which is um 155.71 155.71 that give me um 0 0.016 0 0.16 so we have to multiply um the fraction is um uh we that that's a fraction so we in terms of percentage we need to multiply by um and so uh, I just I just think I just write down um it's easier to explain um let's put it two. 2.5 uh, 2 it's 2.5 here okay so the um, um the horizontal is uh, the vertical rise is 44 I think 44 uh, minus um, 41.5 And divide by uh this one let's put a comma here and then divide by the width is the, I think one this the sorry the the horizontal distance one five five point seven one one five five point seven one and then this one is equal to I think it's uh point one six one I think just now zero point uh zero let me see uh forty four minus forty one point five divided by one five five point seven one zero point zero one six one zero point zero one six one zero point zero one six and then we change it to percentage um to percentage it should become actually 0 0.016161 multiply by 100 percent that give me 1.61 percent 1.61 percent so this the slope of this um <clears throat> um the rod is 1.61 percent so Okay, so this is how we do the long section. So we we do long long section. This is for the long section for rod one. We also need to do the long section for <clears throat> uh, rod two, rod two, and then draw two, and then draw one as well. We need to do, um the starting change. So the height, the the um the starting height is uh for best on this value you know for which you can get from the from here draw one here which is uh you know is uh 42.21 and from 
and for rod 2 is the starting height of the rod is 43.01 and then we 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 just uh, i think the, the rod just flat uh this one from here it will be all the way it will be <coughs> it will be 40, 40 42 this one all the way uh 43 because uh, uh so it's to flash with the lower platform this one all the way be 44. okay so that's the cross section that we need the the road layout uh, plan as well as the the long section so i just show you the just for the rod one you have to do the i think you have to do the uh rod two jaw one jaw two uh, this is the alternative scheme so you have to do your uh your scheme the the one the scheme plan so based on your your scheme plan you do based on your scheme plan so that's how we do the long sections uh, and the there are plan for this um project okay i think um the storm water pipe i will do in another say se another se sessions okay i think we we see enough for this um what layout plan and the and the long section okay thank you